Well, someone usually tells you to pack your patients, right? You've probably heard that expression. Pack your patients when you fly during the holidays. But what you should probably be doing is packing the hand sanitizer. Yeah, this is one of those things you probably have thought about forever. And here we go with some answers. The CBS 11 investigation. We uncover some unwelcome travel companions and show you how to avoid getting sick. A little more than you might think. Here's CBS 11 investigator Ginger Allen. <laughs> Got your luggage, your water, your boarding pass, and your Proteus vulgaris, Agrobacterium, Serratia, even your Enterobacter. Those big words are bacteria we found breeding on planes. What they found on the plane? Oh my goodness. Nasty stuff. That came off the bathroom door. Oh my God. We randomly swabbed 10 surfaces on two different flights. We found roughly 3,000. Uh, bacteria on this plate. Microbiologist Karen Dice says this is from the inside of the lavatory door handle. The door was kind of filthy. And then there was the seat tray. It's Klebsiella. Klebsiella is a stringy mucus-like bacteria we picked up off this tray table. It's really gross looking on a plate. But the grossest of all came from right here inside the seat pocket. Actually, all the bacteria that we identified on this plate were associated with human gut. Yes, she did say the human gut. A lot of these bacteria that live in our gut ended up pretty concentrated on this back seat of this chair. Dr. Charles Gerba of the University of Arizona is known as Dr. Germ. I want to get some of this stuff. <laughs> he tells me what we've found proves airplanes are not cleaned enough. In the last six years, he swabbed planes more than 100 times and found influenza, MRSA, and diarrhea in the same places we swiped. But Dr. Cedric Spock, an infectious disease doctor at Baylor Health, says don't panic, even though it all sounds sick. Some of the bacteria that I've looked here are consistent with what we would find in urine or stool in normal people. He explained how something that might be found here could end up in a place like this. It is all kind of the same sort of bacteria that lives down underneath the belly button. I don't want people to think, oh, that means I got feces all over my front side, but that bacteria is there normally. Mm -hmm. And then some of that bacteria is then found in these reports, which means somebody was scratching their belly button and then scratching the tray table. Dr. Spock says it's all pretty normal. He says viruses can transmit from solid surfaces, but they won't live on places like magazines or tray tables for very long. And the bacteria we found will only cause infection in people who are already very sick. So Dr. Spock tells the average healthy flyer, wash your hands and don't worry, at least about what you're touching. The plane itself is not what's going to put you at risk. It's all the people around you. So how do you avoid these germs? Listen up, Karen. She's over here gagging. <laughs> Dr. Gerba and Dr. Germ says you should travel with hand sanitizer. Here's some other suggestions we found. Drink water. Keep your nasal passages moist with saline spray. Have you ever heard that? It will actually, yeah. if your nose is dry, then you're going to attract viruses. Open the air vent. Let it blow on your face. That will blow away some of those airborne germs. Can I give you my quick Karen impression during your story? Yeah, go ahead, please. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> and then the gag reflex. Oh, yeah, it's just... Exactly. It's it's just gross. It's yeah. like, okay, I want the sterile gloves, everything. It just. Mm -hmm. So I think as passengers, we all kind of want to know, all right, how often are they really cleaning mm -hmm. the airplanes? I mean, is there like the walkthrough in between to grab magazines and papers and throw it away? I mean, what about thorough cleaning? How many times do you have to sit there and wait for them to clean the plane? Yeah. What the airlines have told us, and we have called several of them, is they do spot checks, so just surface checks after each and between each flight, but they say they do a more thorough cleaning that often involves shampooing every night. And spraying down areas and stuff like that, that's the overnight deal. Allegedly, that's we what hope. they're telling us. Okay. Yes. Right. Get out Good the insight. box and the Lysol and everything else. <laughs> All Thanks, right. Ginge.